Welcome to Derek's Travel Chats. Please hit the subscribe button or the bell below for new videos. Enjoy the show. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Derek's Travel Chats, uh, where we try to keep you informed of all the latest uh, news in uh, the world of travel. And so when you're ready to travel, uh, you can make some good informed decisions and uh, hopefully you'll know that you're gonna be able to travel with confidence uh, of what's going on around the world and, and, the, and the type of travel that you choose to make. Uh, today, uh, I have the pleasure of having uh, Maxine Gunderman, uh, the market sales manager for Canada for Celebrity Cruise Line. Uh, with us here today. Uh, Maxine um, is with Celebrity based in Toronto, but she's uh, down in uh, Florida today, uh, enjoying some uh, sunny weather and uh, uh, before the Christmas holidays. So, uh, but uh, Maxine works with Canadian travel agents and the clients uh, and has been in the cruising industry for 10 years. Uh, got on her start on board as a crew member. Uh, that's very interesting because you have firsthand experience here for sure. Uh, and her favorite experience is the Alaska cruise, Hawaii and the Panama Canal. So some things that I haven't done yet. And uh, she's been at 47 countries. So uh, has a wealth of information about uh, cruising and is here today to share that with us. So uh, welcome, uh, Maxine. It's a Thank pleasure you. to have you uh, uh, on the show today. And I know our listeners and viewers uh, are really anxious to hear what Celebrity uh, has to offer and how you're getting back into uh, travel and uh, preparing to uh, to host uh, clients and guests again. So uh, thank you very much for coming on board. Thank you so much for having me, Derek. This is great. And and all of your viewers and, and clients and friends and family should know how savvy it is that you're getting the cruise lines and the, the brands directly one-on-one -on -one live to uh, share content with, with them. So thank you so much for making that initiative. Oh, you're more than welcome. And uh, I'm, Trying to get in the festive mood as well, so uh, we're on the the uh, the big man's hat. So, uh, so if any of the boys and girls are listening, uh, the big man is always watching. So uh, Christmas is coming upon us, and, and hopefully everyone is going to have a safe and uh, a fun Christmas uh, this year, given everything that's going on in the world. So, uh, Maxine, uh, the whole purpose, as I said, is to. Uh, share information with our clients. So uh, can you uh, just talk to uh, our, the viewers about what celebrity, you know, how you've, uh, I guess, faced COVID uh, like others and what celebrity is doing to uh, uh, make their cruise line and the, your cruise line safe to go on board and uh, know that people can go on board with confidence. Right, and it's, it's really important to just think about everything we've done so far in 2020 and what we've experienced. I mean, it's unprecedented to say the least. And Celebrity Cruises, as many should be aware, is part of the Royal Caribbean group. So as a strong, large family, we have taken this suspension that we have voluntarily, you know, stopped all of our operations in connection and partnership with the CDC and special task force of, uh, of sailing out of the US in particular, to analyze every single aspect of cruising. We also put together a panel of advisors with you know, a former CDC director, former director of the FDA, epidemiologists, uh, scientists, doctors, everyone outside of the cruise industry for them to come on board and analyze and critique and look at all of our areas of opportunity. And to say that we would never really have that opportunity if we didn't have a full global suspension of our voyages. And so as incredibly 
uh, shocking as it was to really halt all operations, we now know exactly how we can return to service in the most safest, healthiest way. And we've divided it into five parts actually. And all of this has been published and, and publicized uh, that you can read. It's, it's a 74 page document where you go from the prevention uh, strategies of how to get only healthy crew and healthy guests on board. So that's the primary paramount is wellness screenings, testing at the pier, uh, quarantine for the crew. And what I love about Celebrity Cruises is you might be following one of our most favorite and loved captains, Captain Kate McHugh, the first female uh, American captain of a cruise ship. And she's at the helm. This is Celebrity Edge right here, one of my favorite ships. And just yesterday, she's really great on social media, on her Facebook, on her Instagram. She lives and she's a resident of Las Vegas. She had to fly into Miami. Uh, well, not just yesterday. She had already done so a few weeks ago, flew into Miami, did testing, quarantined in a hotel while waiting for the test results, got on board edge. That's what I think she did yesterday was actually physically got on board edge uh, to start her 14 day quarantine on board the ship as we get ready for our technical trials, our simulated sailings and uh, getting ready for passenger cruises in the new year. So preventative measures then lead to the mitigation measures. So when we do have uh, passenger sailings again, we're going to be able to have more physical distancing because we actually have more space on board our vessels and we are reducing our capacity when we first get back into service. So you'll have more space than ever before so, you know, there's, we've eliminated all lineups. The use of technology is a great tool here where we have the Celebrity Cruises app. Uh, you don't need Wi-Fi or anything like that. You just want to download the app before you get on the ship. You can do your safety boat drill from the app or from your interactive television in your own room. You don't have to gather together in large groups anymore. You can use the app instead of lining up at guest services. And, you know, it's a virtual queue, so you don't have to... Uh, wait for to speak with an agent. We have more telephone agents on board so that you can just call from your room for anything instead of having to go down. So it's all about the contactless technology that we're introducing and Edge, the whole Edge series, if you're familiar with it, really lends so well with that. And the terminal that we built in Fort Lauderdale, it allows you to check in and embark the ship without any contact. You scan your own passport, you're taking your own photo, you're getting prepared so that you can actually get from curbside to poolside within five minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me, so five minutes, that's miraculous. Your state, your luggage goes straight to your stateroom, you have access to your stateroom already. So we really have designed everything. We can talk about the, pre, you know, dining and buffets. We can still have this kind of variety on board because we have the service levels to simply make it full service. So we can have the buffet because I love having the salad, you know, the salad station, the omelet stations in the morning, the carving stations and the grill stations, and it's all full service. So you, as a passenger, you wouldn't have to touch any of the tongs. We have the hand washing state stations as well. The entertainment will continue to be fantastic. We'll actually have more shows in the theater per day than before so that we can have less people in the theater and have you know the spacing in the rows and and the ingress and egress of getting in and out of the theater so we really have and we have to think about everything because we want to get back into service and we appreciate the importance of doing so safely and with all of the health and regulations in mind so that we will never experience anything like this again. And then of course, outside of our reach is the vaccines and testing uh, protocols that are continuously being improved every day. The same kind of protocols will go into destinations. So we have the shore excursions that are vetted with our uh, tour operator partners and the terminals in all of the ports are vetted and screening and all of that is implement implemented as well. And then mobilization is a very important piece is what happens if there was, you know, someone positive on board. We have the medical facilities, the laboratory facilities that needed to be built and implemented on board all of our ships as part of CDC regulations. So the CDC is on board right now and they are 
we're, we're getting ready for our simulated sailings, which they will put into practice all of those 74 pages of protocol and um, opportunities that we have outlined that can guarantee that cruising is the safest place on earth. Even our air ventilation systems and circulation systems, we have had third party validation that shows that it is 100% fresh air. There is no recirculation of air between any of the cabins and we have all of that for that peace of mind. And so it's been you know, fascinating in my perspective that I've learned so much more and have confidence in our medical facilities and our practice and protocols that, and the third party validation, which is the fifth uh, piece of all of that, which is making sure that everything we're saying is being implemented. And once we have our technical sailings, which are slated for the next uh, 30 to 60 days from now, then we will be certified by the CDC and given the green light to go back into passenger operations. So right now we have uh, paused all of our, our sailings until the end of February. Again, this we've always had the stance that we're not trying to make this a race. We're not trying to get back into operations prematurely. We wanna make sure we're doing it right because health and safety and security is the utmost importance of not only our passengers, but our crew and the destinations we visit. And so we do anticipate getting back in the water uh, by March. And that will be really exciting to start again with reduced capacity, a fewer ships. It's going to be a little bit of a schedule, you know, a phased introduction of which ships are going in March and then a couple of weeks later, et cetera. But uh, when we get into moving into the spring and the summer months, we've already confirmed our Alaska season is going, our Bermuda season is going, and our Europe and Mediterranean season is going. And then by the fall time, we do anticipate being in full operations. Sounds great, sounds great. It's a lot, isn't it? It is, <laughs> it is. and uh, you know, the, the biggest thing for me, and, and I know the viewers, is just to know that uh, uh, when they make that final decision to plan something for the future, uh, that they can do it with confidence, knowing that all the companies such as yours are taking their safety uh, as the priority. And, uh, and a lot of people have said to me, you know, that that's the key when, when they do go get back to travel, they wanna make sure that uh, protocols are being, um, kept up and and the cleanliness and all of those things are, are in place so uh, you know because even if when they get a vaccine I mean you know it's probably one of the fastest vaccines ever developed uh, so they want to make sure that you know with, with the vaccine that it, there's still lots of precautions being taken so uh, thank you very much for that and, and to celebrity and everybody who does that so so I know you're going to tell us a little bit more about what Celebrity has to offer and uh, a little bit about uh, the ships that you, you do sail and, and what people can expect on the different types of uh, vessels that you have. So uh, if you want to bring up your, your presentation, uh, we can start going through that if you like. Great, absolutely. You know, for those who aren't familiar with Celebrity, it truly is a special brand. And, and as you said, Derek, I've, I've worked on many different cruise lines. In fact, I, I worked for five different brands uh, and lived on board seven different ships from those, from those brands. So really having been with Celebrity Cruises now for seven years, obviously I've chosen my favorite from experience and there really truly is something very special about celebrity cruises. And it's important to know, you know, what those unique differences are because every single cruise line is going to cater to different demographics or different interests or have a different style on board. Uh, and that really is where celebrity shines. Uh, our pillars of success and our bragging rights and our awards really reflect that we deliver on destination. Of course, that is of paramount importance that when we get into the destinations, we're going to the most iconic sites and we also are opening up 
you know, boundaries to go further and go off the beaten path. We have curated incredible uh, shore excursion activities that whether it's cultural immersion or it's more of a culinary driven where you're really tasting the destination, but doing something unique and different. And we also stay longer in port than any other cruise line. We have more overnight stays in more places around the world than any other cruise line. Then when we get on board the ship, you're gonna notice the difference in the design, the venues, the technology on board. I mean, it, we describe it as new luxury because it's, it's absolutely stunning the amount of detail and the architecture uh, in, in building these ships. And then of course the accommodations, that is your home away from home. And all of, all of our ships over 86% of each of our vessels is balcony and above because we truly believe that that is the experience to be able to have your own private balcony as part of that space. But where we really uh, excel is in what we call the retreat which is the suite accommodation. So large square footage plus the retreat opens up doors to the sun deck. There's a, a private retreat sun deck, a private retreat lounge, private dining at retreat as well. So all inclusive. And that brings us to the culinary experience of celebrity cruises. It's, it goes beyond the main dining rooms and the complimentary venues and the specialty dining uh, to the buffets and the burger bars, but the demonstrations and cooking classes and interactive experiences during the day, wine tastings as well. We have the largest wine list at sea. Uh, so you really do open a lot of doors and you'll recognize Chef Danielle Bouloud. He is a three-star Michelin chef who is our ambassador of all food and beverage. He's designed a chef's menu experience as well as putting together a special menu in the retreat dining as well. And then something really unique, you know, every cruise line is going to cater to a different demographic or have a different specialty or have a different uh, vibe and, and delivery on board. But what I love about Celebrity is our focus on health and wellness. So beyond just the spa and the treatments and the fitness center that has really fantastic classes all throughout the week, but we go beyond that. I mentioned there are fitness shore excursions and um, self-led meditation or guided meditation. There's so much more where you can really come back from your cruise uh, learning something new. So we have a beautiful fleet of 14 ships, all varying in size. Our smaller ships are the Millennium class, and you're going to find those to be 21 to 2200 passengers. And we're going to reduce, of course, that capacity for the first phase of reintroduction, you know, getting back into the healthy return to service. Even our solstice class, they're still, they're not mega ships. You won't find mega ships in the celebrity fleet. We know cruise ships can be 4,000, 5,000, over 6,000 passengers on board. And our solstice class ships are a capacity of 2,800 passengers. Even our Edge series, which is the latest that we just started building, the Edge herself came out at the end of 2018. And the Apex was set to debut early this year, but obviously has been postponed. So passengers have not stepped foot on Apex yet. And those as well, larger in size, but still the same capacity, which means that we're growing our size only in public venues so that you have larger theaters and more variety and the big, you know, dining and, and entertainment and bars, et cetera. So 2,900 passengers on edge. And then we do have a very unique offering in the Galapagos Islands where we have three vessels that range from 100 passengers on the brand new Celebrity Flora, all suites, all exclusive, all inclusive, to 48 passengers in the middle there on the expedition and 16 passengers in eight suites on the Celebrity Exploration. So Galapagos Islands all year round, such a remote destination. We anticipate uh, getting back into the Galapagos as one of our first uh, phases of getting back into operation. So all of these 14 vessels from spring to summer to fall to winter, they do move around a little bit between the seasons. And you can see we touch all seven continents. So even though we have paused operations right now, Savvy travelers are booking for 21, 2021 and 2022, and we are in the midst of releasing our latest deployment, which will include 2023. 
So we're pretty excited that moving forward, we do have the best hardware, as we call it. Our bragging rights are, are our ships. We build them with more public space, less passengers on board. There's nothing like it. it there, you know, there are other cruise lines that are more dense. They have more passenger per, you know, tonnage, and you just want the amount of space that our ships offer. So we did finally bring Apex from the shipyard in France over back to its home port in Fort Lauderdale just last month. And this was the first time ever, this is a real photo, a first time ever where the ships could actually greet one of her new sisters in person, side by side, you know, all of these captains with nothing to do and nowhere to go. So they had quite a fantastic day for a wonderful photo opportunity uh, last month when the Celebrity Apex, which is the second in the Edge series, uh, debuted. So you can see it a little bit in my background here, this orange platform on the side of the ship, and you might be wondering, what is that? And I would say this is our biggest bragging rights and most unique feature. It is on the Edge series, and it's called the Magic Carpet. It literally overhangs the side of the ship, and it's a venue that is cantilevered, where you have the opportunity to go from down at the ocean level where we use it as a tendering platform to get on and off of our ships or we elevate it up to be a destination in itself it's either a bar with entertainment or a full dining experience so that is on the edge and the apex and you literally are over the edge with like such a spectacular say, view it definitely <laughs> goes along with the name of the ship the <laughs> it is the iconic feature indeed so this is where you're seeing all of the space. This is the largest pool at sea at over 70 feet long. Uh, lots of great outdoor spaces on our ship. So this is what you can expect cruising to look like when you're getting back on board Celebrity. Outdoor spaces with real greenery. Our Solstice class is really unique actually. It has all full grass on the top deck of the ship but this is the Edge series with the rooftop garden and you're gonna find live entertainment, a, a dining venue out there. So there's a lot of outdoor spaces and a lot of indoor spaces that provide so much space as well. Our entertainment, this is actually going to be on Apex where we have state-of-the-art technology that's bringing these shows to life. And of course, the accommodations you're looking at, new luxury, from the bathrooms, the balconies, and all of the staterooms and suites in our retreat really sets us apart as well. I did mention Galapagos and this brand new vessel that we just built. This is the first ship in the world to be designed and built to produce exclusively for Galapagos. So it's for floor to ceiling windows. It has the, this hydraulic platform that goes straight down to the water level to make it easy to get on and off the ship because there are no piers in the Galapagos Islands. It's always a wet landing and you're really just kind of taking these uh, Zodiac tender boats over to the beach and doing snorkeling and all sorts of scuba diving and hiking and really getting one-on-one -on -one interaction with the animals of the Galapagos. So we are the favorite. Uh, we've been in the Galapagos the longest. We were the very first cruise line experience in the Galapagos. So after the scientists and you know rough and rugged, you're finding a celebrity cruise experience with the comfortability of onboard and the sweet accommodations with the authenticity of the land. So we actually do air included, you know, if, when, no matter where you're going from North America, to get down to Quito, Ecuador. The flights are included and we're doing half price off the second person. So one of the most remote places on the planet, this is the kind of trip that uh, you might be looking for in the near, near future. Here's another one of my famous or favorite unique cruises. This one is a summer cruise. It's, it's mid-August. So August of 2021 is available. And uh, we haven't, I, hopefully next week, we will be actually releasing August of 2022. Uh, so it starts in London. So imagine, you know, you're flying into London, get your, your European feel, or maybe you've been there for another week or so before the cruise, but we have multiple stops here. So the very I wanted to go back there for a moment. The very first stop you're going to make is Kirkwall. Uh, and then you have three days in Iceland. So one day in Akure 
and two days and overnight in Reykjavik. Then you have another two days in Greenland before hopping over close to you, Derek, hopping over to Halifax and finishing in Boston. We're so gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to get, we're gonna have to talk to talk to him and see if we can get a, a stop in St. John's. For, oh, for I would love that. Really I can see you on the map there. <laughs> but but for your for anyone coming from Newfoundland, this is a pretty interesting cruise. I don't know if you've been to Greenland or Iceland yet, but uh, connecting those two in a very comfortable cruise and having such scenic voyages through the fjords of Prince Christiansund is quite the spectacle. But as you mentioned at the very beginning of today, I do, my heart, uh, a little piece of my heart is in Alaska. It is a spectacular experience if you haven't, and especially, you know, from coast to coast, if you're coming from Newfoundland or Toronto area like myself, to get out to those rugged, you know, the last frontier, Alaska, it is different, of course, from Vancouver or British Columbia. You're so much more north. It is, it is so unique. And to see it from the vantage point of a cruise ship, is second to none. This is one of those Solstice class ships I was telling you about. You can see the lawn, that's real grass on the top deck there. And so to see the glaciers and have the 360 views from up there, spectacular. And another offer that we, or opportunity that we have is to package it with a land tour as well. So we travel by motor coach and we travel by the Wilderness Express on the Alaskan rail line, you can see there. So you can have multiple days inland you know you have to go to mount denali and denali national park you have to go and stay at these local lodgings so whether it's two days three days four days if you're doing it in the middle of summer and you get all the way up to fairbanks that's where you're going to see that midnight sun where it barely sets at all before the next day of sunlight comes around so really unique and we actually just released our alaska 2022 uh, yet yeah, two days ago. So you would be one of the first to look at the new itineraries for Alaska 2022. And we also still have a little bit of space for Alaska 2021. But no matter where in the world you're looking to cruise, one thing that Celebrity Cruises is famous for is having the drinks, the tips and the Wi-Fi included. So it really is that simple when you're sailing with Celebrity, your drinks, whether that's your bottled water or your specialty coffees or your cocktails, spirits, wines and beers, they're all included. You don't have to pay tips on that or anything. And then the Wi-Fi, you know, that's just kind of the norm now. We want Wi-Fi. We want to be able to stay connect or disconnect our choice, but it's the freedom and the tips. So for your stateroom attendants, for the dining staff, for all of the crew on board, those are covered as well. So that makes it easy with Celebrity Cruises. And if you wanna elevate that or indulge yourself to even more, there's a, a, a very value centric way of doing that, especially with shore excursion credits. It's very easy math and Derek can add, you know, work it out with you where you'd actually be paying pennies on the dollar for onboard credits, premium upgrades, et cetera. But everyone gets the drinks, tips and Wi-Fi included. But Derek is able to do more. So there are special offers that uh, only, you know, because he's affiliated with TPI and, and Virtuoso, some of the most powerful forces in the travel industry, they're able to treat you to specialty dining, shopping, onboard credits, and those kinds of things as well. And especially with exclusive rates. You know, when I was looking at that Iceland and Greenland cruise, I can see what the rate normally is, and then I can see the rate that Derek can offer, and it's significantly less because they have such buying power. So great opportunities uh, to think about. And the one thing I'll leave you with is how important it is to safeguard your trip. And we have implemented what's called Cruise with Confidence. It's automatic, it's complimentary, it's not an insurance plan by any means, but we have simply in the light of 2020 and everything that's happened, uh, we want you to have the ultimate flexibility. So when you're booking a cruise, the deposit is refundable, you can cancel for any reason, and we have the best price guarantee. And so there's really great opportunities with, with the ultimate of flexibility so that if you are savvy enough to start planning for 2021, 2022, or even 2023, as we start to debut that, you can have the confidence that making that booking now is not going to have any risks moving forward. And Derek can certainly talk to you a little bit more about that, but we wanna make sure that you're 
getting excited about the future. We can see that the future is positive. We still have a ways to go, but that we have analyzed everything and making sure that we are putting safety and security and health at the forefront of making a cruise your dream destination. Sounds fabulous. I can't wait to go. Me too, me too. <laughs> yes, we all can't wait. This is um, my happy place and, and there's still so many destinations that I have yet to do. I had, uh, I had a group of eight, uh, did the Mediterranean uh, in, yeah, well, 2019, 2019, they did in the Mediterranean and uh, had a fabulous trip with Celebrity, so. The Mediterranean, I can go back countless times and have a different experience. Yeah, it's, uh, well, I mean, there's so many different unique uh, experiences you can have with Celebrity. Uh, and I know this, you know, the Galapagos and the expedition and being on the small ships are, are definitely, given that people will probably want to travel in bubbles uh, in the coming years uh, for the first little while anyhow, um, it gives you that opportunity that there's something different, something unique, that if you want to have a family bubble trip, you know, you're on it. You could be probably taking the ship yourself, type of thing. So, um, and uh, and feel confident and 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 secure with you know not not breaking your bubble uh, if that's what's important to you. So, uh, thank you very much for all that information. Uh, I apologize again to our viewers for the break in uh, in the uh, in the show there, but uh, that's technology these days. So. Uh, uh, one question was there was uh, the APEC. So, uh, when do you expect that that will be uh, taking on guests and so on? Great question about for yes for the APEC. She is certainly going to be the very first back or to debut. She was never in operation, so she certainly gets the first uh, slot. So the apex is what we're using for the simulated sailings and the technical trials. And from there, we're anticipating March 1st uh, will be her first sailing. So that uh, it should be a reasonable uh, timeline that we shouldn't have to change. So we're pretty excited about that. Uh, any idea, I know this is sort of, you probably may not know, but any idea what kind of availability if someone wants to be able to be on that inaugural um, sailing? That's a great question. I, I do believe because it's not set yet that um, there, there hasn't been a way to start booking yet. Okay. So the availability should be obviously first restricted based on reduced capacity. So if that ship normally has 28, 2900 passengers, she'll be at 14 or 1500 passengers um, for those first sailings. It might, we are hoping to do, you know, shorter cruises just for the inaugural so that people can experience that. So maybe the first cruise or two is, is a four night cruise or a five night cruise. And then she'll get into seven night sailings uh, soon after that as well. So if you are someone who wants to be on the inaugural sailing of Apex, like myself, uh, mm -hmm. be sure to reach out to Derek because, you know, he, he's going straight to the source. I will let you know when that inaugural details are uh, released for sure. Sounds great. Uh, just one other question. The 50% the, um, the off the second person uh, was that just on the uh, sailings for the expedition savings? Correct. That is a Galapagos sale. Okay. So half price for the second guest is for all three of our Galapagos ships. The Flora will be the first to come back uh, into operation. So that should, is also slated for March. And Galapagos is already open until the end of 2022. So any single sailing you book for Flora, expedition or expo exploration, those three Galapagos ships, the air is included round trip from North America to Quito and half price on the second guest. So when you say round trip, so 
<clears throat> would that include like St. John's via Toronto or, yeah. Yes, so typically, or what we've done to make sure that it is the most flexible offer possible is we've put a value on the ticket because a lot of people would rather have first class flights or you know business class flights. So instead of having to do that on their own, we put a value on the free air, which is set at $750 US. So I believe they've converted that to 996 Canadian. And I've looked at the flights from Toronto to Quito and they're about they can even actually be as low as 600 to $800 Canadian. So you're not even using that full value. So whatever we would look at the flights, you can book your flights through Celebrity. And if it's over 996 per person Canadian, then you would just pay any of the differential. So I think you can transfer from Newfoundland to Toronto down to Quito uh, within that range yeah, or slightly huge. variance. Yeah, there's some pretty good connector flights right now and stuff by if you're if you're booking through that way the connector flights tend to be um, quite cheap so good well thank you maxine i greatly appreciate you coming on and uh, again i apologize for our technical but uh, we will produce it to be on youtube and uh, we'll bring it all together for everybody I uh, just want to say to our viewers uh, to tune in uh, again to Derek's Travel Chats. Uh, it'll be the last one before Christmas. And my guests will be from Sandals Resorts uh, and Beaches Resorts. And so if you're interested in a uh, luxury resort, uh, tune in to us next week and uh, hear what Sandals and Beaches have to offer. So uh, this afternoon, thank you again, Maxine. I'd like to wish you and your family a very pleasant Christmas and uh, hope that you uh, have a safe and uh, uh, enjoyable time with your family. Thank you so much, Derek. Thanks for having me and the same to you. Best wishes and happy holidays. Thank you very much. Good night. Goodbye, everyone, and uh, have a pleasant afternoon. Thanks once again for watching Derek's Travel Chats. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell below for new videos.